exercise three. In exercise three, we're going to go ahead and build a ratchet that will be uh, used for drop forging. So it's going to encompass adding um, extrusions with draft, as well as uh, we'll learn how to offset a plane and do some additional sketching techniques. So we begin by going to File, New. We can select Part. If we choose, we could turn off Use Default Template and select a specific type of template. In this case, we have inch pounds ECAD or inch pounds or in, uh, inch pounds part solid. We'll go with the inch pounds part solid, and we'll begin by selecting the front plane and starting a sketch. Now this dialog box comes up. By default it will want to use a reference plane. The reference plane is used for basically attaching uh, geometric relationships. Uh, in this case many of them are automatic. So we're going to leave it at the default. We'll just go ahead and hit sketch. And then we probably want to zoom up a little bit. Pro-E has a tendency to um, zoom out rather far and we have a very small part that we're building. And over here we'll go to the circle tool. We'll lock in to the origin, the center here, and just draw out a small circle. And then we'll move up a little bit, and while we're on that right plane, click and drag out a little bit larger circle. And we'll see the two intersect. And now we could actually hit the little select tool up here, and this will bring up the dimensions. Now before we go any further, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and start changing these dimensions to what we need. A requirements call for a... Um, 1.2 inch diameter for the bottom here. This top one we just double click on the dimension with the left mouse button and this one is going to be a 1.5 inch diameter and then the distance between them is 0.75. So we just double click on those dimensions and then lay them out so they're easier to access. The next thing we want to do is we want to find under the line tools we want to find the option which is tangent lines, tangent to two entities. So select that, and the dialog box comes up over here. You can see we just select this line and then select this circle. We do the same over here. Just repeat the steps. And you can see that those are tangent now. The next thing we need to do is trim out what's in the center there. So over here we could find the, actual, the uh, trim tool right here and trim tool gives you several options in this case we'll use the uh, dynamic trim and all we do is we just click and drag through let's make sure we got it selected click and drag through and kind of draw through what we don't want okay, and then make sure you get these points here because it used that plane the bottom as a reference and it trimmed up to those so just make sure you trim it out nice and clean and then we can hit the select tool again then locate your dimensions drag them into positions that are easier to see and now we can move on to the next stage which is we hit this little check mark here to apply it then this brings up our solid tools over here we have the extrude tool let's go ahead and select that it will take the profile that we have and extrude it off of the plane that we started to sketch on however up at the top here we actually want the option down below here which is extrude by mid-plane so it will actually divide up whatever dimension is here and this needs to be 0.75 okay and we'll divide it up at the sketch plane and then we could go ahead and just hit up hit apply which is the green check mark over here on the top right the next thing we need to do is add draft to this and the draft tool is located right over here go ahead and select it and we have to go over here to the references option at the top left and in the references we select the draft surfaces select in that dialog box and hold the control key as you select all the side faces of the object once selected then click on the draft hinges the draft hinge in this case is going to be the front plane which is in the center we can already see a preview of our draft being added. Now, the next thing we want to do is for the uh, the split here, go to split, 
and we'll have split by draft hinge and then draft sides dependently so they both draft alike and we want to add seven degrees of draft and we could hit the flip option here and that will flip it so it's drafting getting smaller as it travels away from the plane that we started on and we just hit the apply button when we're ready we can actually turn off some of these different items up here that we might not need like the coordinate system points and axes the planes might be a nice thing to have on for right now while we're working with them okay the next thing we want to do is actually we uh, you know actually we could turn off the plane at this point just to clean up the screen a little bit next thing we want to do let's some um, adjust some of the settings on here before we go and continue building this you could do this by going to view display settings and we see model display click on model display and this dialog will appear on the right hand side we want the display style under shading and we could um, basically on here there's nothing necessarily that we want to change over here let's go to edge line the edge quality let's set that up a little bit higher maybe we could set it to high or very high and then we could also go to shade and we could adjust the quality to 10 that will again very high quality and finally um, we could basically uh, shade with edges and hit apply and then we could see the actual edges appear in a lighter color than the uh, model itself <clears throat> okay now what we want to do is we want to create an offset from here so we could actually select this face and start our sketch so over here we click on the sketch tool and again it asks us to set a, a reference uh, just use the defaults once again hit select or sketch now what we want to do is if we look through here we'll actually um, find an option sorry it's right over here and there's the offset select the offset tool and on the left here it's hard to see because they come off the screen but basically it asks select the offset for a single chain or loop let's go select loop and the select item then is this face let's actually select that one more time okay and now we just over here it says enter offset and the direction of the arrow so let's go ahead and we can see the arrows pointing the op outside so we want to say negative point one two five and hit enter and then we could close this and now we can see our sketch with the offset dimension given on the left and now we could cut this so we have to hit the, the check mark down below here and then we could see the extrude option which is right up here now with the extrude this is going to want to add material initially so instead of adding material this is the cut material option so we're going to select that also we want it to go with depth we'll leave it at the blind depth as it's set there and then we could also um, put in the value in this case it's going to go uh, 0.125 deep and then here's the reverse switch right next to it and hit the green check over here the big green check and hit apply and now we can see our recess it's created you can see in the feature manager design tree that it's, starting, it's showing our features as they're constructed in the chronological order if we ever need to edit anything we could always right click on one of these and it gives you different options for edit definition so you'd be able to go back and change the parameters that were given okay the next thing we want to do is we want to make a pocket in here so once again let's select that, that select the face we want to sketch on and click on sketch again use the generic options that it gave us we'll just hit sketch again we should be fine and now we want to make some concentric circles in here now under the circle tool there actually is a, con a concentric 
option. Go ahead and select that, and then select the edge you want it to come off of. And then we just select an offset. So we could click, and then we could go to select, and now we could put in a value here of one inch, and I'll select that option again, and select this edge. And hit the green, hit the uh, select option, and this will be 0.75. Now we need to trim that out in the center there. So once again, we use our trim tool and glide right through, clear that up, hit the green check mark to apply, and arrange your dimensions as you'd like to see them. Now we could go ahead and cut that. So we have to hit the check mark down below here and find cut again or extrude. And once again, we select cut. And the depth on here we're going to set to 0.55 deep. And you could hit the green check mark when you're ready. Now we're ready to make some holes at the very bottom. So let's select the, the base. You have to click on it a couple times till it turns to the pink color. Then select sketch. Again use the generic options, hit sketch. And we could select the, um, the concentric tool again, select the edge draw it out and one more time for the bottom okay we'll set it to 0.375 and because I drew it out I should have actually done that a little slower I made sure it was about the same size and it snapped to be equal to that the other dimension so now we could just cut those so we have to hit the check mark once again go to extrude, select cut, and we'll flip that. Uh, actually, since we know this is going to go through all, we just have we could go ahead and find the through all option right here. And hit the green check mark. And that finishes the head portion for right now. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take and bring up our planes. So click on the planes with the eye there so we can see them. And we want to offset the top plane by four inches in the negative space. So that's down below this way. So select the plane and go to the plane tool or datum plane tool. And here you'll get the datum plane options. Under translation type in minus four and hit OK. And it should have offset it by exactly four inches. Now we could select that plane and start a sketch. Now this is where we could actually use this flip sketch view direction. Hit flip so we're looking at the proper side and hit sketch. Select the standard circle tool and we should be able to locate because there's an intersection there right at the dead center. Draw out your circle, hit the select tool, and then double click on this to set it to 0 0.5. The next part is we're going to go ahead and extrude this. So we have to first of all hit the check mark here. And with it still in selected mode, we go to extrude. And you can see it's extruding the opposite way. That's OK. We'll just flip that. And also, there's an option here. And we want to go extrude up to, instead of extrude up to next surface, there's actually ex, um, actually that should work. Let's see. Uh, no, that's not exactly what I wanted. Okay, it's actually extrude up to next surface. So it's this one right here. And you see it gives you a preview though it's going through but that's okay watch what happens as soon as we hit the green check mark it stops up to the next body 
Okay, now we're going to make the handle section. Select the top plane, start a sketch on it. Again, use the standard options it gives you here. You don't have to flip anything. Just hit the sketch tool. And we'll zoom out a little bit and we'll proceed to draw a rectangle. Now we could go ahead and just take our rectangle tool and dig in a little bit here, a little bit above. Don't drag it right on the draw it right on the line there. Right about here, click and drag out what looks like the handle. And then hit the select tool. Now we could just double click on the dimensions. It should be four. And since this handle is going to be one inch wide, we could set this to 0.5 so it's centered. And then double click on this, make it one inch. And then the space between these, the origin and the location where it starts is 3.75. We could actually make it four, I guess. Um, that, this is fine, though, with design. Hit the green check mark. Now we could go right to extrude. And once again here, we want to extrude from the mid plane. So we hit this, select mid plane. This can be 0.75 thick. And as long as it's centered, we should be OK. Hit the green check mark. Now we need to add draft on it. Just like before, we go to the draft tool, click under references. The draft surfaces will be these faces right here. So hold the control key. Let go of control when you need to rotate. And once all four sides are selected, we now can click in the draft hinges area. The draft hinge will be the top plane once again. Make sure it's set to 7 degrees. Also with the split, there should be a split by draft hinge. And once again, draft sides dependently, so they both are equal. In our preview, you can see it's the wrong direction it's that it, the draft is going in, so we just have to hit the flip right here. Uh, actually, the flip over on the far side, right after the 7. And hit the green check mark. All right, at this point, we just need to add our fillets. So let's turn off our planes so we can see this a little bit easier. And now we can proceed to select the fillet tool. So here's the fillet tool. And we want our fillets to be 0.1. And we'll select this edge here. And we'll get a preview with these. And then these edges here. Be careful, you don't want to select the actual parting line edge. And hit apply. Add a couple more, go back to the fillet tool, set it to 0.06 or 60 thousandths, and select these edges. Notice tangent propagation is an active play here. So when it hits the sharp edge, it stops. So you have to make sure you select all those edges. Let's add some in here. as well as over here and here. And hit the green check mark to apply. And that finishes exercise three.